you may have noticed that uh, in my workouts I do the same thing over and over and over again and also my full day of eatings are almost exactly the same so my nutrition is pretty much the same every day and you may have wondered why that is well it's it's on purpose a big mistake people make in a lot of areas of their lives is that they never allow themselves to think to get convinced that they have found the right solution for their problem a lot of people are looking for the perfect business plan they go to a lot of seminars they read a lot of books they are always looking for a right system a right way to do something this is of course true in fitness and the truth is that almost any system or any method that is out there works but it works only if you work it uh, the way it is presented by the author if you combine it with a hundred different things to because you think you can improve it uh, because you know if one thing is effective uh, more things put together must be more effective that's almost never never true if you find a system that has been uh, uh, laid out by the author to work if you just work that it will produce results but you must do only one thing at a time this is very 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 true in the fitness world people seem to never be convinced that they found the right thing that which works and they are forever seeking they're forever reading they're forever watching videos uh searching for a better thing to do for the solution for their dream physique but chances are that they they have already stumbled upon it and uh, they may have done it for a while they just didn't do it long enough let me give you a concrete example what i do uh, fitness blogging and fitness uh, vlogging requires that i always keep up to date with the latest findings and research so i know that i don't provide inaccurate information so oftentimes i read about fiber types i read about uh, the way your circadian rhythm affects your metabolism about uh, how macronutrients turn to, turn to fat and stuff like that but you do you know what i do with most of the information that i find that i learn i do nothing with it nothing because most of it doesn't have a practical application now obviously any type of information that you will learn is valuable there is no such thing as uh, uh, useless knowledge however in the book uh, think and grow rich napoleon hill gave an excellent quote he said that knowledge is power but only to the extent that it's organized and put to practical use unorganized information can make you doubt your actions and uh, if you never move into action because of all the stuff that you know that you never know which one is best then of course you will get worse results than someone who is following a mediocre plan but executed properly another quote from napoleon hill that i want to share with you and uh, with this i'm going to finish this segment is uh, don't allow unfinished thoughts to fill your mind think about that because unfinished thoughts are the ones that give you, that make you doubtful that make you doubt your actions that make you think that you are doing something wrong so for fitness application it's okay to watch a lot of videos and uh, learn a lot of methods and uh, study a lot of fitness in general that's fine only to the extent that uh, the information that you gather is organized and you know when to put it into action and uh, you don't just feel the need to apply it to your current plan because it may actually not fit there okay the philosophy lesson is done uh, now let's go eat so i know that a lot of you have tried my method of making no fat fries cooking them directly on the grill inside the, your oven well i want to share my latest finding i have found that you can make this with frozen potatoes as well now the disadvantage here is that uh, i'm sure that these are not as nutritious as uh, fresh potatoes as most companies use lower quality potatoes uh, for this frozen stuff but the advantage is that you spend uh, less time cooking you have more time for something else and i kid you not these are actually more tasty they turn out tastier than fresh potatoes i'm not sure why but they turn out really really good and there you have it no fat fries <laughs>